<clears throat> How's it going, friends and neighbors? It's Combs and guys today on Adventures with Yours Truly. We are back at Buck Creek State Park and we're gonna answer a question tonight. And no, I didn't drive my truck. I actually drove my 2011 Ford Fiesta. And the question we're gonna answer tonight is, many people have done this. They've actually camped in a subcompact car. But the question I'm here to answer is, not if you can do it, if you can do it comfortably. So that's what we're gonna find out tonight on, uh, like I said, Adventures with Yours Truly. So we're at, the, we're at a different section of Buck Creek this time, away from the creepy RV. There's the remnants of daylight slowly leaving us. Which, by the way, y'all, um, the creepy RV was not there. <laughs> so um, I drove by the other camp loop and I thought about going over there so I could be, you know, totally by myself. But um, honestly, this camp loop here, there's another person like over, like way over there. They're in like a Sprinter van. And, but other than that, it's like just us. <laughs> so I'm cool with it. You know, no biggie there. But um, before the sun completely goes down, let's get into the meat and potatoes here and show you guys the setup. So here's what everything looks like in the back. Um, basically going over the layers. So there's a board underneath here, it's underneath the blanket. I doubt you guys can even see that. Um, but there's a board down there that's making everything level. Then I have a comforter on top of that board then I have a sleeping pad, which I had to go buy because my air mattress and the cot were way too big um, to fit back here. So I had to buy a little sleeping pad. Seems to be okay. I have a blanket on top of it. Then I have a heated blanket on top of that. And I busted out the big guns tonight. <laughs> this is my um, zero, actually, sorry, my negative 30 degree bag. So, um, you know, and I know there's a lot of misconception within the, you know, sleeping bag world. Um, well, with camping in general, like I said, I've talked about it in the past where companies will say that a, a, a four person tent is, a, is, you know, for four people. In reality, it's for two, unless you really want to be crammed in there like sardines. Same thing with sleeping bags. So this sleeping bag here I've had for years. Never let me down. Freaking love it. Um, I'll go around to the side of the car here and show you if I remembered to unlock it. Bad neighborhood, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, um, so yeah, so this is just an old North Face sleeping bag. Like I said, I've had it a long time, taking it to Canada, up to Quetico multiple times. And um, it has a comfort rating of zero and a survival rating of negative 30. So, at zero degrees, you're gonna be just fine down in that bag. You're gonna stay nice and toasty. At negative 30, you're going to live until rescue comes for you, but you're not gonna be real happy about it. Um, and then I have pillows here. I have a pillow there. There's the actual sleeping pad, another pillow, a pillow down here, and my cooler is actually under there. Let me get you some more light so you can see that. So yeah. So my cooler is actually what's propping everything up, which I really don't need the cooler tonight um, because, well, <laughs> it's frigid. <laughs> um, so basically, that's going to be the setup. So I'll go ahead and close up the car. Um, grab my bag out of here real quick. Go set it over here on the table with the other goodies. I did actually bring the light for my GoPro, but I didn't apparently bring all the attachments. So this is my GoPro case, and apparently I didn't put everything back in here after the last time I used it. So this is what the GoPro light looks like. It basically just attaches um, to the tripod, and then the GoPro sits on top of it. And it's it's a really bright light. Like this is the highest setting. Um, that's the lowest setting, and then it has like an SOS feature. Um, I really like it. I'm still not sure what this thing is, but it's here. Um, so yeah, I'll figure that out in the morning. So this spot actually does have like a, a, um, like a potable, I think potable, is that how you say that? I think like a little potable water thing over there. Um, I don't need that. I brought enough water just to do what I need to do. And there's our fire pit there, but 
all in all guys not a bad little spot kind of got the little divot there and then you know you can see back into the woods um there's like it's like woods like all the way through the middle section here because if you look there's a actually you can see that just fine on the camera there's a road like all the way down there um that's what cuts through and takes you back to the main one or you can continue on this road all the way down and eventually you'll uh, head back towards the front of the park like i said nice park i feel like the spots are a little close together they're a little further away i think at caesar's creek but this place is just so convenient like i can literally be here in 30 minutes so um i think that's pretty dope but um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and um put you guys down for a second um get everything you know fire wise and stuff and then when i come back i'll show you what we're doing for dinner so i will catch you guys in a bit enjoy the last remaining rays of the sun all right y'all so a little bit of time has passed um it is seven o'clock got a fire going got my little pot and pan set there or a little pot set um boiling some water because tonight we are going to have what is supposed to be one of the best mountain house meals which is the chicken and dumplings um that's just what i've heard is that everybody and their brother's like yeah man the chicken and dumplings are like the best one and we're gonna find out tonight if that's uh if that's true or not but while we wait for that i'm gonna go ahead and bust open a frosty um the mountains are blue so by you know that math it is okay to drink so cheers y'all i actually had a visit from dnr a little bit ago uh so that was funny um apparently when i made my reservation it didn't go through so not really sure what in the heck that's about um i did have some issues with my phone today so i guess that makes sense um Actually, pretty popular camp loop over here. Maybe I should have stayed back where the creepy RV was again. But, um, but yeah, so apparently my reservation never went through. And uh, I didn't get a chance to have the camera on because I was busy, you know, tending to the fire and stuff. And, uh, yeah, DNR rolled up and was like, hey, how's it going? He was super cool, dude. Probably not much older than me, maybe even younger. Um, so I would say late 20s early 30s really chill dude and, and i was like yeah i thought i put it in but it but it didn't and i went and looked at my card and it didn't charge it so i went ahead and rebooked site number 55 and well the rest is history <laughs> so now like i said we're just waiting on that to get done and uh as soon as the water boils we'll dump it into the chicken and dumplings and uh after that, we will have uh, we will have cigar time, faux show. I actually brought one of my favorite cigars, uh, the last one that I had. But not to fear, I did call the tobacco shop I used to work at, and apparently they did get some more. So um, that's cool. I'm glad they finally had them back in, but I won't spoil that until the time comes. So I'll catch you guys here when uh, the Mountain House meal is done. All right, y'all. So Mountain House meal is done. And we're going to see if um, the uh, chicken and dumplings one is good. I mean, it looks pretty solid. Um, we're going to find out if it's the quote unquote best one. Let's take a take a bite here and find out. You know what? that has no right to slap <laughs> as, as much as it does like like that's 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 crazy that that is that, that is like that good mm. yeah yeah that's definitely that's definitely pretty solid is it the best i don't know but i will say it definitely is pretty solid for a you know freeze-dried meal but yeah, that um, that little camp set I just picked that up at um, at a store called Meyer. I don't know if you know if you guys have Meyer where you're at. I know they're only in a couple states, but it's kind of like a kind of like a Walmart um, kind of deal. But um, but yeah, I picked that up, and that actually worked really well putting the 
like putting it the way that it was like packed. So the big pot where I actually boiled the water and then the small pot is where I um, just had it on top. That way none of the, the funkies from the fire would get into it. And it created almost like a, like, you know, a covered effect and it worked really well. Um, I was surprised the thing, the set was only like 20 bucks. So I was really shocked about that. And I couldn't find my camping mess set. I have no idea where it went. So I just got that little pot set and it worked out pretty well. Um, boiled the water for the uh, for the chicken and dumplings. But, but yeah, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. And uh, next time you guys see me, I will light up um, a stogie. We'll kind of sit around the fire and just, you know, chill for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna get back to uh, listening to some Mr. Nightmare on my, uh, on my tablet. I called it an iPad <laughs> in the last video. Apparently that's like, you know, if somebody says, hand me a Kleenex, you know, like not every tissue is a Kleenex, not like every tablet is an iPad. It's actually like a Samsung Galaxy tab. I'm, I'm not even that big of an Apple person. <laughs> so it was kind of funny that I actually, you know, straight up just called it an iPad. But, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to get back to Challen. And then, like I said, when, uh, when I'm done with that, we'll light up a stogie, hang out for a little while, and then I'm gonna hit the sack um, a little early tonight, simply because I have to get out of here at like the butt crack of dawn or something close to it, um, because I have a doctor's appointment I have to get to. Finally getting some new specs. Um, <laughs> my girlfriend's freaking out because she thinks I'm gonna get something like totally different than what I have now, and um, you know, just like totally changed my entire look, but I like the, the black plastic frames. So I'm probably just gonna go with another set of those. And um, yeah, so nothing's gonna change too much, but it's just kind of funny that she was tripping on it a little bit. But um, anyway, I will finally shut my mouth and quit this Midwest goodbye and uh, catch you guys in a little bit. All right, y'all. So it is cigar time. So let me get it out of the the case here real quick and I'll show y'all what we got so tonight we have a Macanudo espresso now what I like about this hold on, let me deploy the uh, tripod there real quick boom so what I like about this cigar is um, it is a barber pole so as you can see here the tobaccos actually kind of changes it goes up kind of like a barber pole so it's an espresso um, so it kind of goes from like coffee to cream or coffee to coffee with cream and then kind of back to it so it's it's a really nice cigar they were out of them uh, the cigar shop I worked at for a while um, and I have myself to blame for that <laughs> one because that's what I smoked about every day I was there when I didn't feel like smoking my tobacco pipe and uh, number two, I sold a bunch of them. Zippo was being an uncooperative turd this evening, and I really haven't the slightest idea as to why. I just put fluid in it, but you can see I haven't got that all the way lit just yet. I like the Zippo. It's actually one of my favorites. It's the uh, Happy Halloween Zippo. It actually glows in the dark. I just put fluid in it. I don't know. But, um, but yeah. I'll go ahead and put you guys towards the fire pit because that's where I'm going to be headed to. But uh, yeah, guys, I just wanted to say thanks um, for all the support on the last few videos that I've posted. Um, 
it really it's really awesome that uh, I've actually got you know uh, a good community built up and, and it's constantly growing too sorry I had to get a, a little warm it's a little it's a titty bit nipply out here Well, that's better. Still not lit on the ends. But, um, but yeah, I'm really thankful. Um, for how much the channel is growing. Last time I looked, like 332 subscribers, which I know in the you know the YouTube grand scheme of things is dropping the bucket but I appreciate you guys I really and truly do um, it's awesome to have that many members of the friends and neighbors so um, hopefully that will continue uh, you know with the next few videos I've got coming out um, this video won't be um, next week's video it'll be the following week so when you guys see this um it'll be the second week in december um it's currently the end of november right now it's actually november 29th today but um maddie and i actually did a cooking video um and that'll be next week's video uh, her and i first time cooking on film together and i think it went well um we made steak fajitas <laughs> so um by the time this video comes out, you guys will have seen that one. Um, there's cheesesteak fajitas, not just steak fajitas, but they were really good. Um, recipes you found off of TikTok, of all places. All right. It can, it's trying to canoe, but I ain't going to let it. There we go. So for all my cigar aficionados out there, um, and aficionistas, <laughs> if that's a word, um, what's your guys' favorite way to, um, you know, like, cut your cigar? Do you prefer just a straight cut like that one? Hopefully you guys can see that. Do you prefer a V or a punch? Um, I myself am partial to the punch. But um, I had already cut this cigar because um, my cutters were the first thing I found. And um, otherwise, I would have punched it. I just couldn't find my punch. Um, probably because it's on my F-150 keys. <laughs> and I didn't bring my F-150. I, um, you know, rolled, uh, rolled in the Fiesta tonight. But, yeah, it's actually kind of funny. So that, um, this whole, like, thing with doing, like, a micro car camp... Kind of started um, because uh, my work didn't give me the Friday off um, after Thanksgiving, and I'm pretty sure we're like the only ones in our industry that like didn't have um, that particular day off. Because no joke, I, I literally got paid my salary for eight hours to um, <laughs> to do nothing, like literally nothing. Like I was told to quote bring a book. So I actually brought my dabble and I played old school RuneScape. <laughs> but, um, but I also was thinking about like YouTube video ideas and that's where this whole thing came from is I was just like, you know, how small can you actually camp in and be comfortable? So, and I found a couple videos and I'm gonna leave the links to their channels in the, in like the, uh, I'm pointing down for some reason for the comments, but um, for the comments section. And um, so I'm going to leave it down there because um, one guy, a channel called like Far Away Porch, I believe, he does it full time. Like that's his camper is is a Fiesta just like mine. Um, and then another guy called Brave Scary Things, he camped in his um, Fiesta ST. He's done it twice. 
And um, the first time he said it was terrible. Second time he said he made some improvements so it was better. But I've seen other videos of like micro car camping. Like a lot of people camping like, um, I forget the name of the little tiny Nissan hatchback. It's not the Leaf, it's another one um, that's that small. Um, there was one lady I saw that was camping in like a, a, a Chevy Spark. Um, and, uh, you know, I've seen various people camp, like in small campers and stuff. Like I saw one channel, I can't remember the name of, a lady was camping in the uh, the Buick Encore, I think is what it's called, the little, like the little baby Buick. Um, and, you know, I've just seen, you know, different stuff too. It seems like, it seems like that's popular in like the UK or like Australia and places like that. Um, you know, and, and I do watch, you know, quite a bit of folks you know, from overseas as far as like the camping and adventure stuff is concerned. Um, I know he's not from overseas, but actually one of my favorites is Steve Wallace um, from, you know, from the great white north, you know, if you will. And uh, I love that man. The man is a, <laughs> man's a national treasure. Um, my girlfriend and I actually watch him religiously. That's like our show. <laughs> like we, we have our, another show we watch. Um, a Chicago Med. We watch, we're like almost through with Chicago Med or caught up to where they're actually still making episodes. Um, and, uh, well, we watch Steve, you know, like I don't watch it without her and I'm the one that watches the most YouTube between the two of us. So, um, you know, like I just, you know, when I see a Steve video, I'm like, Oh, gotta wait, <laughs> you know? Um, but it's just something we kind of watch together. And, um, you know, there's a channel called AB Camping. Um, you can go, you can go check him out. A guy by the name of Tony. Um, he camps with his dog uh, Bruno, and um, it's it's actually really cool. Like he's got a pretty tricked out Ranger, and I guess he just bought a um, an Isuzu um, Elf, which is possibly the coolest freaking camper I think I've ever seen in my life. Um, I wish they were available stateside. If they were. I, I would buy one like not even an exaggeration I would pick one up they look so sick um, they're just little goofy little things but you know like micro campers are kind of dope to me you know like um, like two of my buddies they have like the big travel trailers sorry I just don't want this cigar to go out and um, they got like the big travel trailers and stuff like one of them had a bigger travel trailer than what he had now one of my buddies um, he's granted he's got an F-350, but he had a, um, like a 42 foot gooseneck. Um, and that thing was just ridiculous. I'm like, dude, you might as well just buy a semi trailer at that point. You know, you're not too far from it. Um, and so he downgraded to a, you know, a 30, I think it's a 32 foot travel trailer, you know, that you tow on the ball versus the gooseneck. But he's so much happier with it. And then my other buddy, his brother, um, actually has um, like a 28-foot camper. And I'm like, that's not too bad. I've towed trailers and stuff before. I just I just don't want to do that. That's just not what I want to do. So that's why I've been trying to come up with like alternatives and everything. And, and a micro camper like that would be sick. So I don't know. Maybe that's something I'll be able to do in the future but for now uh you know focusing on tonight and this vundaba cigar um and uh we'll be we'll be sleeping out of the back of the fiesta um yeah the fire is uh on its way out unfortunately but um but yeah it's still warm as heck though somebody's out there ripping it up folks out there brapping <laughs> but uh we actually have a um a full moon tonight if you see that little uh that little thing there at the tip of my cigar that is the moon um so it is actually a full moon or it's very close if it's not sorry for the bad camera angle is folding up the uh mini tripod i thought i brought um the attachment to use my selfie stick but apparently i didn't so that's always fun but yeah, um, I did find out that uh, I am actually like one of like three people in the campground. So that's um, that's to be expected, you know, this time of year. It is frigid. So, um, you know, a lot of people are out camping right now. Especially 
um, you know, like I'm doing. Or especially like, you know, like not even in a tent, but, or what I'm doing even. But, uh, but yeah, so I'm going to continue to smoke on this stogie here a little bit. And then to be honest with you guys, with the fire, the fire running as low as it is, and with the time being what it is, currently um, it is 9.19. I'm probably going to be hitting the sack here pretty soon. Because, uh, like I said, I, unfortunately, I got to get up at, like, the butt crack of dawn. Because um, I got to run home, ditch this, or, or clean it out. I haven't really decided. I'm either going to not clean it out and um, take the F-150 or um, clean the car out and then go to my doctor's appointment. And then after that, go straight into the office. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, guys, so next time I see you, um, I will, uh, I'll see you in the Fiesta. All right, y'all. So I am officially in the Fiesta. You can see there's my feet extended that way. I actually have my legs all the way extended, which is nice. Um, windows are fogging up a little bit, which is good because I don't have any tent on my windows. Um, I kind of wish I did, you know. But, um, but anyway, guys, I'm pretty warm. Like I said, I figured I would be in my, in my sleeping bag. And, uh, honestly, it's pretty comfortable. I'm not going to lie. So, um, I will see you guys in the morning until then catch y'all in a little bit. Morning friends and neighbors survived the night. Got the fiesta warming up. It is definitely cold um even with that zero degree bag there was a couple times i woke up and got cold but then kind of you know shifted a little bit and went back to sleep overall i will say yes you can camp comfortably in a small car but it's got to be under the right set of circumstances um it all depended on, you know, what position you laid in and, you know, if you actually got to the right angle of, excuse me, of where, um, you know, the air mattress and stuff was. So, yeah, so it can be done, but let's put it to y'all this way. I love my Fiesta. It gets good gas mileage. You can park it just about anywhere. But what I will say is this, will I camp in it again? Eh, probably not. Um, I would much rather use the Gazelle or I would much rather use the truck bed tent that I have that I will be using um, probably in the next camping video that I do. But, uh, but yeah, the Fiesta does a lot of things right. I don't know about camping in it full time though. But anyway guys, I've got everything all packed up. I kind of did that last night. I actually slept in a little later than what I wanted to so I gotta go ahead and hit the road so take care y'all and uh, I will see you guys on the next adventure I'm Combs and I'm out